Hi everybody, my name is Dawn Kennedy and the project that I pitched was Steam While Sewing. Um, Steam While Sewing is an educational program that is geared toward underrepresented youths within the STEM or STEAM community. Steam While Sewing is actually uh, a program that introduces students to the STEAM process, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math, and ignites the spirit of entrepreneurship all through the art of sewing. The reason that this is very important to me is because number one, we know that there's a lot of uh, minority and women who don't involve themselves within the STEAM or STEM community. And we wanna get them involved. It's very important that we get them involved. Um, the other reason that is very important to me is because I used to be a teacher and now by day I'm an engineer and by night I'm a seamstress. So I took all of those talents and put them all together. And I wanted to reach back out to the youth in another way, in a way that seemed interesting, in a way that helps them to guide their life. I'm a teacher. I'm an engineer and I am a seamstress. So with the STEAM process, I'm able to put my teaching into it. I'm able to bring in my engineering techniques um, and with information that I'm learning, constantly learning. And then I teach them how to sew, which is also a life skill. So it brings it uh, full circle. It will have a great impact because I think now in Baltimore, a lot of kids don't know the talents that they possess. They don't know that certain little things that they are able to do, whether they can draw very well, whether they're interested in building with blocks as a little person, they don't know that those talents can be more as they grow older. They don't know that, oh, I could possibly be an engineer. I can help build buildings. I can help build spaceships. I can, I can put satellites in the sky. They don't know that their talents that they have can uh, go out and be more, uh, for, be greater. For them. The funding from the Warnock Foundation will help put another small mini camp in session, four sessions for them, so that they can get involved with more um, textile engineering. Um, so they'll learn about putting lights into clothing or lighting up certain things or programming things um, to make them change according to what's going on in the environment. I am a Baltimorean. I was born here, I was raised here, I stayed here, I went to college here, I bought a house here. Um, and I see it from a different perspective than what the media puts out there. Um, a lot of people, when I say I'm from Baltimore, they're like, oh, oh, all of they think is the negativity. But we have so many great talented people here. We have so many artists. Our young people are very talented. And you know, a lot of people don't know that. Even the younger ones don't know it. Sometimes their mom and dads don't know how talented their kids are. So it's very, I, I really like my Be More because I take it personal. Like for instance, I'm from Cherry Hill. So of course everybody thinks of Cherry Hill like, oh no, but I was born, I was raised there and I bought a house there. And I don't plan on leaving because I think it's a great place and I think it has a lot to offer um, everyone here. So I just think Baltimore is a great place and if people were to tap more into the My Baltimore version of it, they would see what Baltimore has to offer.